Happy holidays, Leo. Welcome to your December 2014 RuneScope with me. My name is Amanda. As always, you know my spiel. I always encourage you to check out the video for your rising sign as well if you know it because that can give you some more information about other things you may be dealing with in December. A um, little more specific than this very general sun sign reading. Of course, the only way to get a reading for you and only you is to schedule one with me. I do those on Skype. It's $65 for a 30 minute session. Drop me a line at the email address in this video or below this video in the details section if you want to set up an appointment for yourself. Uh, it can take me a few days to get back to you sometimes if there are a number of people ahead of you, so please be patient. I also have holiday gift certificates available through December 19th. If you would like to give uh, the gift of a reading to uh, one of your loved ones, just drop me a line and what I'll do is send you a PDF and then you can either email it uh, to your person or print it out and send it good old fashioned snail mail or hand it to them, whatever you wanna do. They'll then have all of next year to, to set up an appointment with me and, and use that gift certificate. So um, if you have somebody on your list who is into this sort of thing, uh, I would be glad to, uh, to read for them. So uh, hit me up about that. But now let's jump in to December 2014 for my lions. We'll see what's cooking besides turkey and ham for the holidays. Okay. Where do we want to go? Okay. Let's see what the tarot has for us here. for December. Let's see what I'm getting here, Leo. Your challenge is freeing someone from a self-imposed prison. How's that for specific? Uh, for some of you, this may be you. Um, for a lot of you, though, I feel like this is this is someone else. I'm getting a real a, a male energy about this. So this could be uh, your partner. This could be uh, a child. This could be a friend or a relative. It'll be different for everyone. But um, but but doing it in a positive way and not reinforcing behavior that put them there in the first place. So. Because it's coming up in the challenge, either this person doesn't want to be released from you know this prison, maybe they don't see that they can't just walk out of this. Because with the Eight of Swords reversed, um, this is somebody who can they can just walk out of this, you know, um, if they want to. But they're not seeing the way out. They're not this person isn't seeing the way out, and. Um, Leo, in, in December, you can either be a help to this person or you can be reinforcing those doubts, reinforcing those things. And somebody, another way this can work is that somebody just may seem distant to you. Maybe they are um, more quiet than usual. And I feel like because it's because a lot's going on mentally. A lot is, is uh, they're analyzing a lot of things um, about themselves. Some of you... The challenge may be seeing the good in someone or, or thinking well of someone who did something bad to you, somebody that hurt you. So it may be difficult for you to um, turn over a new leaf where this is concerned. And you may be resistant to this, even though it's going to be the best for you and the best for this other person. And, and others as well, I feel. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's and again with those swords coming up next to these really good runes actually, um, is that you can, that tells me you can overcome this, whatever, however this challenge presents itself in December, Leo, which of course you can. Uh, you can do anything that you set your mind to. Um, and yeah, it's just a matter of uh, being self-aware of what you're doing to either help or hinder someone else or help or hinder yourself. Um, particularly when it comes to wherever you feel restricted or, or someone that you care about feels restricted. Um, 
or both of you feeling restricted from ending a conflict or, or, or turning over a new leaf in a relationship. Uh, a lot of you may be uh, taking exams you and you're going to do very well on those exams in December with the page of pentacles that is uh, you know often the card of a student or maybe it's your child who's going to be doing very well you may have a child in college or, or a child in uh, you know school who has a lot of tests before the holidays and they're going to do very well for the most part um some of you may have a child that's graduating in December instead of May. You know, they 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 may be done or completed with their courses, and and you know, then they just have to wait it out and graduate or get their diploma in May. But um, yeah, because I feel like there's completion. There's a new phase beginning for someone, and maybe it's you. Maybe you are finishing up in December, and now you're like, oh, I've got that done. Now I can go on to and and do and use this knowledge, do what I what I want to do. Um, some of you may be getting news about a business idea that you have uh, initiated, um, or you may be sending out communication, but with the page that's normally bringing communication to us, uh, because he is a pentacle, that this would be about money, financial things, and career. So uh, next to the birth rune, I mean, that is definitely something new getting started, a new idea, new way of bringing in money. And it may be because this is a page, it may be in the early stages in December, but with this rune next to it, the rune of reaping, the rune of creation and, and, uh, and joy and, uh, you know, um, of things we plant coming to fruition, it's definitely an idea that can flourish um, if you cultivate that. And that may start for you in December, Leo. Help that's going to be available to you. Let's see. Some of you may be getting money from a settlement. Uh, if you've been waiting on a legal decision, uh, waiting on uh, settlement money, uh, I feel like this will have been delayed for a while, but it may come in just in time for the holidays for a lot of you. So yeah, some of you may be getting um, uh, some kind of, maybe you overpaid something and they're sending it back to you. Somebody made a, made a mistake on a bill and overcharged you and you got this back and it's a pretty decent sum and you can, uh, you know, put that toward to good use, especially in December. Uh, so yeah, good money news uh, all around in December, Leo. Um, some of you may be talking to a financial advisor. You may be just looking to invest. You may be talking to, um, you know, a broker wanting to maybe put your money into um, something that's gonna, you know, it's just gonna earn money by sitting there or, or yeah, so I know nothing about the stock market, but yeah, you may be talking to somebody like, how much would I need to invest if I wanted to get this much back and where would, it, you know, what kind of stock would I buy and how does that work? You may be getting kind of a crash course in that, but with the King of Pentacles, I mean, this is normally the money man, you know, um, in just the very, you know, uh, basest sense of breaking that card down, it's the money guy, uh, it's the banker, it's the uh, it's the businessman, uh, the business owner. But yeah, this could be somebody who is an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. They are generally uh, very they're practical and they're uh, you know very good with money. So the you know he may very well be an Earth sign, but he does uh, he is able to point you in the right direction and help you uh, you know harvest your money or or bring more in um because it seems like maybe it's been you've been money's been kind of tight uh for some of you so this is going to be or or maybe you are thinking it will be for some reason next year and you're wanting to kind of get your ducks in a row in december and you will find uh someone who can help you out with that um some of you i mean this may be uh this may be somebody that you, this may be this going back to this, this may be the uh, person that you um, have been kind of estranged from, haven't spoken to in a while. For some of you, it may be your father because it is coming up as a king. So that is an older man, um, you know, or, or an older brother or uh, an ex or, uh, but uh, yeah, it could be somebody that you haven't spoken to in a while. And that may be going back to this situation where you're, you're trying to deal with, um, old wounds, old hurts, or, or um, again, those self-imposed confinement of some sort. Um, maybe just not being able to say what you wanted to say or, or him feeling the same and then, and then saying these things to you. So I, there's some kind of breaking loose 
in December of, of um, things that have been held in check or held back, but I don't see them being negative. Um, so that's good, Leo. But uh, what can't be changed about December? A lot of you may find out that your son or um, a younger man, uh, you know, a, a younger brother with the Knight of Rods, this is normally a fire, another fire sign like you. So another Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. Uh, coming up in the reverse though, it's somebody who, I don't know, you just feel like they are, uh, they're kind of troublemakers when they're in the reverse. And you feel like this person's entering into a partnership that is is um, that they're not ready for, or that, that it's not gonna be good for them. So you may disapprove of your son's uh, girlfriend, or uh, you may, maybe this is, you know, they're getting married, or they, you, they decide to get engaged around the holidays, and it's not real super news for you. <laughs> um, if, if it's not that you don't approve of the of the other person, it could just be that you feel like this person's rushing into something. They're rushing into a commitment of, of some sort. They're rushing into something they don't know anything about with the blank room. It's like they think they have all the answers. So this is a very, I'm feeling a very teenager-y vibe from this. Um, somebody's rushing into a commitment that they don't know anything about. And you're, you know, you may try to warn them against this because you are, um, you know, you've been there, done that, and you, you want to help them. Thing is, I, I don't think this person is going to listen, as most people don't. We usually have to learn our lessons the hard way, but, um, you know, you should definitely say it because, uh, you know, it could be your words that come back to them at the time that they realize, oh, I need to, you know, if they have a moment of doubt, it could be your words that are kind of like, you know, maybe I should rethink this. Um, as far as the holidays themselves, uh, I feel like a lot of you, uh, of course, all families have traditions and somebody's going to be bucking the tradition this year, um, or really kind of upsetting the tradition, uh, especially if you have a very religious family, because with the Hierophant, that's all about religion. That's all about, you know, uh, it's the Pope and other decks. So, I mean, it's all about you know, tradition and the expected way of doing things and everybody just falling into line, doing what they're supposed to do according to the church and God or dad or whoever is in charge of the room or of the household. Um, and somebody may be bucking this. In a lot of cases, it may be you, Leo, because you do tend to be rather unconventional. So I, it could be you that's kind of upsetting the apple cart or upsetting somebody's apple cart uh, with a... Uh, and it'll be different, I think, for all of you in the way that you are doing this. Because <laughs> I'm not getting a specific like way that you're upsetting the apple cart because you guys are so diverse and different that, uh, you know, I'm sure it will be in all kinds of ways. I would love to hear in the comment section uh, at the end of December how you uh, shocked the Christmas table <laughs> or what you did uh, over the holidays to really... Uh, you know, kind of got someone's goat who's, uh, you know, maybe very traditional or religious or something. It's almost like you just, it's, you're looking to shock. It's like, and you know what? It, it, they're showing me Madonna, who is a Leo. And, and so it's like, it's like that. It's like you do something. So, you know, you sh I don't think you're going to show up in a comb bra. Some of you might, I don't know. But um, yeah, definitely let me know how you buck tradition this holiday season because I would really love to uh, to hear those stories. I imagine they're pretty entertaining. And I think you're going to take great joy in that. And everybody's just going to kind of be so shocked that you're like, I don't even know what to say to that. Or I, I don't even, I don't even know how to react to that. So you, <laughs> you know, I think you're definitely going to get a lot of jaw drops. Did she really just say that? Or did he really just do that? Um, yeah, some of you may be bucking tradition by not even going to the holiday celebration. You may choose to do something else. Um, it, it, it just may, na may not fit into your schedule. Um, and this may be the first time maybe you haven't gone in a while. Maybe you always go or you always do uh, things a certain way, but you've got another commitment this year. Something's different and uh, you're not going to be attending the festivities this year. Um, so that is what I see, Leo. All in all, it looks to be pretty exciting December for you. Great money stuff happening. 
really, really good money stuff happening. Um, so yeah, any new ideas, new job opportunities, new messages you get about career and money in December, follow through with those as best you can because um, I think that's going to turn into something in the new year. Uh, be sure to look out, be on the lookout for my, of course, if you subscribe, it will let you know when they're ready. But um, for my 2015 yearly overviews, I'll be doing those as I did last year for every sign. So those should be up by the end of December. So uh, I will see you back then.